Two state senators are pushing for a bill to tighten requirements for Medicaid recipients in Pennsylvania. Eyewitness News reporter Rachel Espiot spoke with one of them about why he believes the change is necessary. Nearly half a million non disabled Pennsylvanians between the ages of 19 and 64 receive their health care through the use of Medicaid. That, says the author of proposed changes to the Commonwealth Medicaid program, is not right. Welfare programs are there to help people who desperately need help, but they shouldn't be there to continually help able-bodied people who can physically go to work every day. Senators David Argel and Scott Martin are proposing a change requiring non-disabled Medicaid recipients to meet some work requirements to receive benefits. Those requirements include getting a job or actively looking for one, going back to school, even volunteering. But there are some exceptions to the rule, like if you are under 18, older than 65, pregnant, disabled, or take care of somebody that is disabled. Senator Argyle says that the focus of this is on people who are able-bodied workers. Linda Hannafeld is about 70 years old and has been working since she was a teenager. She likes the senator's push for change. Even if they sweep a street, even if they clean toilets, even if they help with the seniors or the children that need help or anything, Get a little paycheck, it makes you feel good about yourself, you're contributing. Governor Tom Wolf, on the other hand, has not been in favor of it. He's already vetoed the bill twice. Argo says they are trying to find a common ground to get it passed this year. We're hoping to figure out those differences and get this bill uh, to his signature. Argyle and Martin, both Republicans, believe passing the bill will not only boost the economy, but will lift part of the cost of the program off taxpayers, and it benefits the recipient. In Mahanoy City, Rachel Espayat, Eyewitness News. Work requirements already exist for the Temporary Assistance for Needy Families Program and Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program. 